What's going on YouTube? This is Parker Light 88 coming at you with another video. And in this video, guys, we're going to be reacting to the Joe Higashi trailer for King of Fighters 15. Um, if you guys haven't seen my last video for uh, the Riori reaction trailer, I'm going to be doing some King of Fighters coverage on the channel, checking out the characters, getting some gameplay in. I intend to get the game when it comes out and learn it. Hopefully we can learn together. But Joe Higashi is next up on the list, so let's go ahead and check him out. We have volume set so let's go ahead and increase this and let's see what we're working with these trailers are unfortunately kind of short but still Why is it making that weird slappy sound? Is that what tornadoes sound like? That was actually pretty cool. I feel like I got a little bit more gameplay out of that than the Yori trailer. That being said, I was really absorbing everything kind of like at, at base value, and I honestly didn't notice some of the stuff in there. So hold on. Let's run it back. I think like halfway through there, I was like, oh yeah, I'm supposed to be actually paying attention to stuff. I caught some EXs in there. I'm not really seeing anything else game gameplay-wise that is, you know, vastly different from... Um, and the other trailers you're mostly you're getting like character exhibitions right um you know you're getting your ex you're getting exes and, and whatnot but I'm not, really, I'm not really seeing anything else gameplay wise that's like really like in like super engaging or anything like this honestly everything so far kind of looks like kof 14 but you can just tell that the graphic the, the graphical updates you know naturally progressing from uh king of not king of uh samurai showdown right you can tell that the graphics have improved that way and I'm happy that there was a little bit more gameplay, but uh, anyway, let's go back and take a look at this. Let's see if we can actually pick up. I liked the track. The track sounded nice. Uh, nice camera angles and everything. Um, if honestly, just at base value, like, I don't know, Joe, Joe just looks kind of boring to me. And I'm sorry for like all the Joe Higashi uh, fans out there. Um, but I don't know, like it just, I don't know. It didn't look particularly engaging. What was it with that weird slappy sound that the Hurricanes made? Okay. So we got Jaguar kicks. What's the slappy Hurricanes? Uh, hold on. Was that EX? Okay, yeah, so his EX fires multiple Hurricanes. I wonder what else you can do from that. Tiger knee, yeah. Or right, uh, Jaguar knee upward. Uh-huh, basic super. Another basic super. It's weird. I feel like the tornado kind of just stops. I would expect it to kind of like go like off the screen to make it look cooler. Mm-hmm. All right, so we got the EX there, and we can get combos from that. Nice. That's pretty much what I'm seeing. It's like the only gameplay changing thing that I'm noticing between this and 14 is just the fact that you can do EXs outside of max mode which leads to, you know, obviously more burst damage, which says a lot more to me in like first round type stuff as opposed to like the other rounds and whatnot. That's actually really interesting. That tornado that he did was actually, um, that tornado that he did was kind of what I expected and was much, much bigger. Does that mean that that one tornado that I saw was like an EX move maybe, like this one? Hold on, let's take a look at this. I'm very curious now. So, uh huh. So you had that tornado, right? And then looking here, this one's blue and isn't more, or just, you know, it's wind and it looks like what I would expect, where it goes like off screen, right? To make it look like more cool and imposing and stuff. So I'm actually starting to notice something now. Um, let's go back to here. So, did you see that blue flash? You see, did you see the blue flash right there? Hold on. 
No, we need to back up a little bit more. A little bit more. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, so look. So there's a blue flash here when he does the super. And then when he did the orange tornado, where was it? Where's the orange tornado? This one here? Yes. When he does this one, it's red. I wonder if there's some kind of significance to that. See, it has like the red flash here, and then back when he did the other super, it was like a, it was like a blue flash. Would it? I wonder if there's some significance to that. Maybe that is just like an effect or something like that for when you do like uh like climax supers or like level two supers or something like that. But I wonder if that <coughs> actually has some kind of gameplay significance. You know, even in the logo, it's like you see the red over here and you see like the blue over here with the flames and that now that I'm thinking about it, that's actually reflected in the character's moveset. So I'll be a lot more curious about this game when they actually, I don't know, maybe do like a gameplay breakdown or something like that. Or I hope that as they are review like unveiling more of these characters that they'll maybe be like more gameplay hints because if this really ends up being essentially just like King of Fighters 14 with a better, you know, graphical styling that's going to be a little disappointing. Would I still be interested? Yes, because I think the King, the King of Fighters characters are interesting characters and whatnot, but, you know, I'm kind of excited for, like, a, a really exciting uh, gameplay uh, mechanic, you know, out of the King of Fighters, especially after that Street Fighter reveal where they revealed Dan for the Winter Update and they introduced, like, the, uh, the V-Shift. That was bonkers. And, you know, I hope that KOF 15 has equally as engaging of other mechanics other than just you can do EXs outside of max mode because that'd be kind of, you know, underwhelming. But anyway, guys, that was the Joe Higashi trailer. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys excited for Joe? Are you guys excited for King of 15? I would love to know your opinions and I'll be back to you later with future videos. This is Parker Lad, and I will see you guys next time.